Hello, name me Stephen Graham. Work where? Town where? Fire Rescue Service. How long have I worked? Firefighter, 26 years. So I've got a lot of uh, experience uh, firefighting. I'd like to talk to you today about what um, fire safety in the home. Why? Um, I have a um, deaf son named Ewan, age 10 years. I'd like to um, give something back to the deaf community. Let's take a look inside the house. Okay, uh, living room area. I'm just looking around, yeah. There's a few hazards here, I can see. Um, it's a nice, uh, clean house, it's tidy. But, uh, first hazard I can see is over here. Okay, first hazard I can see um, are the clothes drying in front of the fire. Don't like this, it's risky. Uh, why? Because um, the heat from the uh, fire, radiated heat, can start fire in the clothes. So we'll take these off. So never leave clothes drying in this front of the fire. Okay, other hazards I could see over there. Okay. Next hazard I can see um, tea lights. It can be very dangerous. Um, why? Because it's getting very hot. Bottom's metal. Um, must always be in a holder. Similar to this one. Pay light inside, on there. Okay. Um, a tea light on top of a plastic TV. Dangerous if it gets very hot. By I can spread the TV. And that's next to the curtains. It can spread onto the curtains. And before no time, the whole room is on fire. Okay. Other hazard I can see over here. Lots of people like to smoke, to relax. Um, very dangerous to us as uh, firefighters. Firstly, uh, children, um, they like to play with smoking materials, lighters, matches. Always best to keep them up high, out of reach of children. Okay, smoking. You always uh, extinguish, make sure that it's extinguished properly. Um, maybe a good idea um, at night time put just a little bit of water inside the ashtray. Um, on the night time, always remember um, never extinguish a cigarette in the bin. This one, plastic, if it's still hot, start fire. Yeah. Maybe best if you have a metal bin this one. Um, try and remember um, never to smoke um, tired. 
relax, smoke in, fall asleep, buy on your clothes. Okay. Other hazard that we're looking at, uh, another room. Okay, there's lots of things um, we could talk about in the kitchen that are dangerous. First of all, chip pan. See here, see the chip pan? Dangerous to children. The handle sticking out, children pull the pan, hot, fat, burn the arms. Okay, but always turn it around. You're filling a chip pan with fat. Never fill more than one third full of fat. Best being the chip pan. I don't like them. Best buy uh, a deep fat fryer. It's much safer, um, temperature controlled. Chip pan, forget that it's on, watch TV, forget and the fire starts. Looking at the cooker, morning food, too close, move them out of the way. heat from the cooking top, keep them separate. Okay, there's lots of hazards in the kitchen. First like the look inside the oven. Okay. Oven's nice and clean. Uh, dangerous why build up of fat to start a fire. So this one clean, okay. Other problem, don't like to see tea towels drying wear in front of the hot oven. So we must take that off. Best to dry this in the radiator. Next, you can see escape route. Blocked escape route. Get out if fire happens. Yeah, we must move this. Now, I'd like to have a look upstairs. Okay, now we're inside the bedroom and you can see um, there's lots of hazards inside the room. Electrical hazards. First one, you can see here, TV. Always remember, on the night time, before you get into bed, to unplug the electrics, switch off the TV. Another hazard we we'll have here, hair straighteners. Dangerous why? Because they get very, very hot and you're finished. Never put them on wood. Always place the hot straighteners on a mat. Okay, there's lots of uh, electrical equipment 
in the bedroom. You can see we have a hair dryer. You can, in very hot, uh, placed on the bed, heat transferred to the bed and have a fire and start a fire. Um, also have um, hair straighteners, can get to uh, 200 degrees, uh, very hot, and start fires. Um, for look, I have an um, electric blanket. Always remember, before you go to sleep on a night time, unplug, switch off. Okay, again, there's more electrical hazards in the bedroom. You can see here, there's lots of uh, electrical equipment plugged in. Lots of plugs. Don't like that. Lots of these um, don't have fuse. So uh, we would um, like to see a strip adapter. Okay. Must remember, never smoke in bed. Uh, it's very dangerous. Um, people are tired and are relaxed, and uh, maybe even fall asleep. Cigarette on the clothes, clothes on fire, spread to the bed. Um, so never smoke in bed. Um, See here, I have a, a telephone. Uh, if you have a land line, ring 999, and um, deaf people, uh, text. Deaf people can also buy special smoke alarms. See one here. This up under the ceiling, uh, outside a corridor. This vibrating plate underneath the pillow. Plug electric goes in, and a strobe light. Fire happens. This detect the smoke oh, underneath the pillow and you wake you up go to a window open the window shout for help okay Okay, it's a good idea to fit what um, smoke alarms on every level of the house. One downstairs corridor, uh, bottom of the stairs, and one uh, upstairs uh, in the corridor. Okay. Okay, the last thing uh, I'd like to talk about today is a nighttime plan. Remember, the nighttime, uh, always um, turn off uh, electrical equipment, go outside the room and close the door. You go upstairs, it's a good idea 
always have uh, door keys next to the bed in case of a fire. So you know where the keys are. Um, I hope it's been helpful today. Uh, if you would like your own um, fire safety check, contact local fire station. Thank you and goodbye.